Yo, what's up guys? It's Nox here back with another video and I just wanted to make a video about the big new 7.4 update that's going to be happening and I want to go over the patch notes as well as how you can get the battle pass for free. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it and uh, go over the highlights of uh, the best parts of this update. So first off, obviously the first thing you see is the new gun that's coming out. It's like an M1 Grand. I'm not sure exactly what they're calling it in game, but it's an M1 Grand if you've ever played like first person shooter or Call of Duty or anything like that. From what I've seen, it's not very good, but um, we'll see. So the first thing up though is the uh, Share the Love Valentine surprise um they're adding on to that and basically this is how you get the battle pass for free so if you do the 13 free overtime challenges by february 27th which is about two weeks um you get the season 8 battle pass for free so uh yeah that's pretty cool if you guys do all your challenges don't have to pay the ten dollars that uh the battle pass cost and it says you will get um two outfits for free and there's up to five more after that because there's usually a lot of stuff in the battle pass so for people that don't have skins or want more skins that's how you do that next up is gifting it uh, is coming back in this update and it'll be here till the 22nd so it's not going to be permanent it'll be limited just like last time when it came out but uh you can gift the uh heart span glider to someone for free so uh you'll probably be able to get that pretty easily from a friend you guys can trade it or whatever and that lasts until the 15th. So basically today, tomorrow, you can gift a free glider and receive a free glider, which is pretty dope. And then next up, we have the infantry rifle, which is what they're calling it in game. It's an M1 Grand, but obviously they always have different names for things. But yeah, it's a semi-automatic AR. Um, and uh, it has bullet drop from what I've seen. So it has bullet drop. I don't think it has any damage drop off. So it's going to be good for long range, but uh, I still think there's going to be a few other guns better than that, like the Deagle and stuff like that. And then next up, we have the limited time game modes that are coming. Now, I really don't care about this stuff too much. Um, apparently, they're going to be rotating them in and out more frequently. But the only one that's like new here is the game mode called Catch. It's just like only nades, only throwables. So it's just going to be a lot of pickaxing most likely. But uh, if you guys want to read about that. You guys can pause, but I'm going to keep going on. We got Team Rumble coming back. Um, you know, just another 50v50 game mode. And then uh, here they go talking about the overtime challenges and rewards more, which I already went over, but you guys can read that. But uh, next up is more about the infantry rifle, which is what I uh, care about a little bit more. It does 43, no, 41, 43, 45 damage. Um, Pretty standard stuff, use medium ammo, and yeah, it has quick moving projectiles without damage fall off. So that makes it like somewhat decent, the no damage fall off, but the projectiles makes it uh, not that great in my opinion. It'd be better to have like a scar or something like that. And then they have the bush getting, they have the bush getting buffed. Um, so basically it'll like take the sh take a shot and then it won't like be huge when you're wearing it. So that's whatever. But the hand cannon is getting nerfed. The deagle is getting nerfed. So basically, when a ramps, like a wooden ramps full health, you won't be able to one-shot it. I'm pretty sure it go it goes from 150 to 100. So I'm pretty sure that means when, a, when you first place a wooden ramp, I think you'll be able to shoot it out. Uh, I might be wrong, but you 100% won't be able to shoot them out while, um, while they're, like, been built for a while. So... That'll make it where people can't just deagle your box, jump in, and, and pump you, which is pretty annoying and frustrating. So that's a really good change. The deagle won't be useless, though. It'll still be used. You'll still be able to, um, you know, snipe people with it, basically, and uh, get headshots with it and do a lot of damage. It'll still do, you know, 75 and 150 to the body and head. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So that's still an insane amount of damage. Another good change they made, rocket launchers are no longer in chests, so that'll make them a lot harder to get, a lot more rare to get. They'll be in supply drops. They are doubling the chance you get them from supply drops, but to be honest, most of the time people don't get supply drops a lot throughout games. So this will make it harder for people to have a bunch of RPGs, because sometimes you'll have people double, triple RPG. You'll come across multiple people with RPGs, so that should make it a lot less annoying. And then it's also getting nerfed. The reload speed is from 2.66 seconds to 3.42, which will which will make it about 50% longer to reload. So people can't really spam you as much. You'll have a chance to 
you know somebody shoots your wall or shoots your one by one you can build it back and you know get high ground or you know get a shot off before they have a chance to reload it and it also will be in uh, vending machines i think it already was but i think they just said this to kind of let people know it won't be chest or it won't be in chest it'll only be in vending machines and uh and supply drops and then obviously for valentine's day they're bringing back the cupid's crossbow which that isn't really anything to like that's pretty irrelevant to be honest because like they had the crossbow when the zombies were around or whatever so that's just something for valentine's day but it's not going to really affect anything and then this is another big thing they added pop-up cup settings to default playlist so basically um you're gonna get shield per kill and you're gonna get health per kill um so they're adding it into solos duo squads i believe um they want to incentivize people to fight more and uh not be worried about you know losing shield in fights or scared to fight because of that so okay so you do get 50 health or shield for every kill you get obviously depending on how much health or shield you have you'll get 50 added on to that and then also people will be dropping materials now when you kill them obviously you won't get the materials in your inventory it'll just be dropped to like uh like regular loot like guns or ammo but i am surprised at how much they they gave you they give you 50 of each mat you get 50 wood 50 brick and 50 metal which is more than i thought i thought it'd be 50 or 100 so that's uh, a really good change they're really wanting to incentivize people for fighting or to fight and not trying to punish people that want to be aggressive and go for kills so next up is they added a cap um 500 instead of a thousand for each material and you might think well that's just going to make it harder to build battle people and you're always running out of mats anyway but that's not a big deal because they just don't want people to hoard mats but they increase the harvest rate, the amount you get per swing of your pickaxe on a material by 40%. So basically they don't want you carrying a lot of materials, but they want them, they want you to be able to get them easily by killing people or by farming either way. They want you to be able to get them quickly, but not have too many to where you can just overbuild. So overall, these changes are probably the biggest in the whole update, uh, besides maybe the Deagle and the RPG and uh, are the best changes in my opinion. Makes the games a lot more fun, a lot more aggressive, a lot more fast paced. Another big thing they did was uh, they nerfed planes. So they, they nerfed the main things people wanted. Deagles, RPGs, planes, and they incentivized you for getting kills through mats and health. So they're pretty much listening to mostly what people are asking for. And uh, I think this has a lot to do with Apex though, to be honest. Like I think some of the stuff they were going to do, but Apex has really pushed them to make changes that uh they were maybe not gonna make or maybe not make as quick as they did so uh let's look into what exactly they did to the planes um basically they can't go through structures and objects so you can't just crash through somebody's one by one um but they can destroy small stuff i'm assuming like like trash cans and like i don't know smaller stuff on the map maybe even cars i'm not sure it just depends like you know light poles things like that um, they'll still destroy, but they won't take out entire buildings like they did before. So here's another really good change. Um, they changed how zip lines work before you just jump on the zip line. It would take you across. Now you have to hit a button to interact with it. So you have to hit a button to, to use the zip line. And this is really good because obviously I'm sure uh, all you guys have encountered this where you jump on the zip line and it somehow teleports you off or you're spamming jump and it jumps you off and you die of fall damage so now um you have to hit a button to basically use them and also a lot of the times you'd be in a build fight or you'd be shooting at someone or the storm would be moving and you would accidentally run into a zip line and it it would completely mess up your fight now you have to hit a button to actually confirm that you want to use it and zip lines also grant fall damage immunity so if you use a zip line you can't glide after you uh, get off of it, but you won't die of fall damage, which I never thought they would actually do, but uh, that's another great add. And then here we have some uh, final circle adjustments. They change how that works. I don't really know how this will necessarily apply to the game, meaning like I don't know how it's actually gonna affect the final circle, um, but we'll have to see. And uh, you can now crouch while in edit mode. That's another thing, turbo building gets basically a buff um it makes it faster for it to kick in from 0.15 to 0.05 
So there's that. Okay, this is another big change that will affect console players. Um, this has to do with aim assist. So basically, um, you could spam aim. You know, you could L2 spam, as people call it, L2 spam. And it would uh, basically lock on to people. You could just abuse the aim assist by aiming in and out over and over. And you would basically have a form of, of aim bot. And uh, it was very easy to laser people and people didn't really have to focus on aiming. You could just spam that over and over. So this will nerf that and basically give it a delay. So as soon as you aim in, it will auto lock onto them. There'll be a five second delay. Um, obviously, if you didn't abuse that, your aim assist should feel pretty much the same. But uh, this shows nerf people that kind of abused uh, the current aim assist system for console. So this will prevent like lasering through smoke and like stuff like that. Like there are videos of people literally just aiming through smoke and creative and they could just lock on to people with a controller and it was pretty ridiculous. So I think this is a really good change and uh, a lot of console players are going to hate this, but uh, it, it shouldn't have been in the game that it shouldn't have been in the game to begin with. I know this is just a small thing, but cozy campfire logs no longer block movement. Oh, this makes so much sense. I don't know why they made the campfires where like you couldn't walk over them. It made no sense. But besides that, I don't see any other things under bug fixes that are that insane. The next big thing is event. Basically, this is more like tournaments um, from the 14th until the 24th. There's going to be the share the love series that they've been talking about the share the love event. And there's going to be different divisions, open division, prospect division, contender division, and champion division. Um, yeah, the more points you earn, the more you move up to the next division. And uh, they have trio one day cup. This will be on the 17th. They're doing all kinds of tournaments with this. Um, now they have multiple tournaments running at the same time. Uh, the matchmaking time has been decreased. Uh, they increased the number of players. They're doing a lot of things with tournaments. They're trying to push the competitive side of the game. That's what a lot of the updates have to do with the the nerfs to the Deagle and the RPG and the planes and things like that. They're trying to listen to the people that are going for this game competitively. And uh, it even like it even helps out the people that are casual too because planes were not no matter how good or bad you are, like whatever, planes is just not fun either way. So um, these are all great changes. I think this will make the game more fun for people that uh, are bored of solo duos and squads and things like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not too much more to talk about. I'm sure there's some small details that I missed that are that are somewhat important. But I just want to hit on the most important things and let you guys know how you get the battle pass for free and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, let me know if I missed anything. Um, let me know what your favorite, your least favorite things are in this update. Um... Give me any suggestions what you think Epic should do in the next update or what they, you know, they missed out on that maybe would be good for the game. Uh, yeah, just leave your feedback in the comments. I like reading the comments, see what you guys have to say um, about the update. And uh, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. And uh, yeah, I uh, will probably have a gameplay video out soon. Um, I know the last two have just been uh, me talking, but I want to go over these patch notes and uh, let you guys know what the best parts of, uh, of them were and uh, inform people at what has changed in the new update. Because a lot of times people will play the game, but they don't actually look at the patch notes and see what exactly is different. So I feel like a lot of people miss out on things. So uh, if you guys like this patch notes videos or this patch note video, like I said, let me know, leave a like, and uh, I don't want to ramble on too much longer. So I appreciate all the support, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.